Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I've got a fun wintry birthday card for you. We're playing Connect Four in the Kitchen Table Stamper Craft Social, and I have a card that I started for one of the Coffee and a Mystery card games in the Craft Social. If you're not a member of the Craft Social, <laughs> what are you waiting for? Get over there and join us. We have so much fun. So this is a two for one card, and I started this card as a decoy in the craft social for coffee and a mystery card today we're playing connect for christmas edition so you can make any um, treat or card that you want to by using the connect for board as inspiration so for corners postage stamp diagonal um, horizontal vertical connect for in any way that you want and make a project so i connected because crafty girls do what they want i connected sweet sorbet i used the sweet sorbet fine sparkle gems these are on sale right now while supplies last for three dollars they are so gorgeous look at these fine sparkle gems the colors are amazing they're gonna do so much more than holiday i just look at them and think birthday which is um, one of the connect four that I did here, make a wintry birthday card. So this is my birthday card. Use stripes. I got a striped scarf and then I did a stripe technique on my border here. And then my forest animal. I don't know if a Yeti is a forest animal. I guess more of a Bigfoot is a forest animal, but you know, crafty girls do what they want. That's what we say around the craft social anyway. So we're going to do this two for one card. This is also going to be my daughter's birthday card. So we're going to make winter wishes and birthday hugs. And then inside it says, get Yeti to party at your birthday. So that's our card. And it's a two for one. So what you'll need is a piece of designer series paper that is three and a half by four. And what you're going to do is you're going to measure down from one corner to four and a quarter, see? And you're gonna measure down from the opposite side, top corner, down two and a quarter inches, and then you're going to connect those and cut, then flip, and you've got two pieces of designer series paper that you can use to make your cards. So the two for one card is a lot of fun for when you we have a little bit of time to craft, but you don't know exactly where you want to start or you're having a little creative block. You can grab your three and a half by four inch paper and divide it into two pieces. So what you've done then is, you know, cut the designer series paper. And once you cut the designer series paper, then it's just, you know, you, you, you've got the ball rolling. You kind of, um, you know, got gotten started. Once you've cut it, you kind of feel a little obligated if you're a paper crafter to make something prettier out of it because you cut it, right? So we just marked down one and a quarter on the left side. We marked down two and a quarter on the right side. We're gonna grab the stamp and trimmer and put this so that each mark is on the track. And then we'll cut. All right, so we've got two pieces of this Nordic pattern designer series paper now. We're gonna make two cards. So I've got Balmy Blue for my card base. And these are uh, hot dog card bases. So they're four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. We got two of those. And then we've got a couple of panels. So the front panel is balmy blue and it is four by five and a quarter. We've got one for each card and we're going to emboss that with the whimsical woodland embossing folder. You guys, I don't know what happened here and why this one is on um, well supplies last and the last chance list for four bucks, but you got to check out this folder. I think that you're going to love it. I think it just flew under people's radar. It's really an amazing uh, folder. It's got these trees and it's a 3D folder. It just gives a really cool impression and it's 
let's face it, like the embossing folders, and I don't need any more flower embossing folders. I don't, the, the same things kind of come around again and again. And when I saw this folder, I said, now that's something I haven't seen before. It's cute, it gives a beautiful impression, it's um, you know, kind of whimsical, it's unique. It's something that I haven't had three times in the last five years. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not sure why it seemed like it didn't sell very well for it to be on clearance for $4 right now, but it was worth every penny at $10 for $4. Pick this one up. Grab the, um, the sparkle too, the fine um, the fine sparkle gems too while you're at it. All right, so there's our embossed bases. Oh. All right, then we need some uh, crumb cake cardstock, about a half an inch, and we're going to make a trim piece that's going to bridge the designer series paper to that embossed panel. Let's get that. And our Simply Score tool. All right, so we're going to go from about an inch, and we're gonna score at every eighth of an inch. And this is gonna give us our stripes for our Connect Four and a really cool pattern. We need to go across the four and a quarter inch card, but we're going across diagonally. So you can um, go maybe five and a half inches. So if you start at one, and you end at six and a half, you should have enough of this kind of textured stripe. It looks almost like a gentle corrugation, which is pretty cool. And we'll do both strips because we got a two for one card. All right, there's our texture little strip that's going to trim between the two panels and now let's assemble i've got some liquid glue and i'm going to adhere my two for one designer series paper panels now the fun part is if you've watched kitchen table stamper at all in the past you've seen this two for one card and you can do if you've got two patterns a front and a back side that you love you can do the front side and the back side you could do them so that they're this way and use both sides you can do them so that they're this way and you can use both sides, so the opposite angles, or you can do them so that they're at the bottom and use the same side. So you can actually have two cards that end up looking very different if you use side A and it goes across the bottom, and then you use side B and it goes across the top. You can end up with two very different cards, but done at the same time. Just a really cool kind of a time saver. All right, now we're gonna grab our crumb cake and we're gonna tie a little smidge of pale papaya ribbon around the uh, kind of faux corrugated, the embossed stripe piece. And we're gonna make a little bow. And then once you've got your little bow, we're going to add some liquid glue. So what you want to do is go a segment of the strip, not too far. And we're going to line up so the bow is about three eighths of an inch from the edge of the paper. And you want to leave that top edge a little bit loose here so kind of put your glue along the bottom edge because we're going to tuck the little mountains behind the little mountains are going to kind of grow out of our trim let's do that for the other card all right we've got our two strips and the fun part is, is you can do kind of a debossed look with this corrugated or you could do the embossed side and i did one with each side showing so one looks 
a little bit more striped and the other one looks a little bit more corrugated. You actually get a little bit different look depending on which side of the paper you use, the embossed or the debossed side. So um, the, the possibilities there are kind of cool. You can do these little trims in different colors, use the embossed or the debossed side, or do a whole layer or a mat with that technique. Now we can adhere these to our card fronts. I didn't mention before, but I'm using the Storybook Gnome Designer Series paper. It's another last chance product from the 2022 holiday catalog. Now's the time to take a look at that holiday catalog and see if there is um, some things left on your list, or maybe I'm sparking some interest in some new things that you haven't quite um, had on your list, but you're finding a new appreciation for, especially with the prices as low as they are. And the next thing we're gonna do is stamp. So let's get our white cardstock. All right, so I've got a scrap of white cardstock, soft suede ink pad, and we are going to stamp our Yeti. The best way to get this guy a good image is to lay him face up on the table and bring your ink pad to gently ink him. Then you're gonna flip and press, walk your fingers a little bit and hold, walk your fingers and hold, especially get his face, you want a nice dark, nose and mouth and there's our yeti we're gonna need some greetings that we can kind of dismantle mix and match so get yeti to party at your birthday i love all things punny all right this is the yeti to party stamp set i love this stamp set it's another item that's well supplies last and another item that is on a deep discount the stamp set is $7.20. You can do birthdays, winter birthdays, like I'm doing, um, New Year and holiday cards, your Christmas cards. Is it Christmas Yeti? Get Yeti to party at your birthday, winter wishes, and holiday hugs. Now you'll notice it says holiday hugs, but I needed a wintry birthday card for Connect Four, and because today's Desi's birthday, so we are going to do a little frank and greeting. All right, so that's Yeti to party. And don't forget the Yeti dies. These were a limited time offer, Perfect Partners uh, special. And they're back again. They're on the clearance rack while supplies last for only $11.20. So this um, stamp set and dies are extremely affordable if you're looking to treat yourself to a little something for the holidays and have some after after christmas winter crafting this is the way to go three dollars sparkle four dollars for the cutest embossing folder 720 for the yeti stamp set and um 11 20 for the dies you just can't hardly even go wrong all right so we've got yeti to party it's your birthday winter wishes and holiday hugs and now we're gonna do our mountains. We got a big one and a little one. And we need some presents. And I love that I can die cut all this. <laughs> all right. So we got the tall present times two and the short present. I'm doing everything in soft suede. So we wanna give it a little time to dry before we bring Stampin' Blends to it. Let's grab the inside of our card while the outside items dry a bit. We're going to put Yeti to get Yeti to party at your birthday. And a little bit high of center, just a little bit. <laughs> I love this. I can't even tell you guys. This was one of the first things I ordered the Ring with Nature bundle and the Yeti stamp set were the first things that I ordered from the holiday catalog. And I'm still just loving them. I love the prices now. All right, we're gonna do a little present and then a littler present and then we'll set the inside of the card aside to dry. All right, so now let's get rid of the ink pad and 
We're gonna color our Yeti with a light crumb cake and a color lifter. And we're gonna do a little technique that's gonna leave our Yeti looking fuzzy. You see? So we'll take the bullet point of our light crumb cake and we're gonna do circles, but slightly open circles. It's okay if there's some little white space and it is okay and even awesome if it overlaps a little bit. So you're gonna get some light crumb cake. You're gonna get some double strength light crumb cake. You're gonna get some white spaces just to start with. It's the beginning, the building of that fuzzy texture that we're doing. I'm gonna do his whole body crumb cake, light crumb cake with these kind of open circles. All right, now we've got our open and double strength little texture going on here. But what we're gonna do next is take the color lifter and do kind of similar. We're gonna do open circles with the bullet point. And the color lifter is really kind of a misnomer. It doesn't really lift anything. It actually pushes the ink deeper into the cardstock. So then we're gonna have even more light and dark the white spaces are gonna start to have a really interesting look. And it's just a cool technique. This is a good way to do, there's a little lamb that's coming in a farm set for the, in the next catalog that I can't wait to do this technique with. It's a good way to do a fuzzy sweater or a little lamb, teddy bears. Just a cool little technique that you can do that'll leave a fuzzy texture. I'm gonna use some light, I hope. Yeah, light soft suede for, uh-oh, I think I got my dark one. Yeah, dark soft suede. Do light soft suede, it looks better. <laughs> and then a little bit of light Calypso Coral for cheeks, tongue, and cheeks. Now I don't want clown shape cheeks, so we're gonna go back over those with the color lifter and just soften those so our Yeti looks like he's nice and frosty with pink cheeks. All right, then for our mountains, we're going to do light soft suede, color in. Now this is the difference when we're coloring something to be solid but shaded. You're gonna do little circles, tight circles, no white space between, and working in the wet um, edge. So you're going along, putting wet ink on top of the wet edge, so you get a smooth fill with no gaps. Then you're gonna go through with your dark, and with tiny little circles, you're gonna add your shadow. We're gonna go down the right side, underneath the snow cap, and then down the right side. And then we'll bring those two together by kind of melting the dark into the light with little circles. And that is the difference between that kind of fuzzy teddy bear technique and getting a nice solid fill with a shadow and highlights. All right, we're going to do our other mountain the same way. And the snow caps on our mountains are gonna have a shadow on that same right side, keep it consistent. We're gonna do light balmy blue, and then we're gonna soften and kind of melt that balmy blue back into the white using the color lifter. And now we got a little snow-topped mountain. And it doesn't look like we forgot to color the snow. It looks like it's snow-topped. There's our mountains. Let's do our presents. I did my presents and my banners all with the same colors. I've got dark pale papaya, light calypso coral, dark balmy blue, and dark mint macaron. And what I'm gonna do is as I open the marker and do a section, I'm going to then do any other little pieces that I can 
with the mint macaron. So I did the present and then bow. And then for the inside of my card, I'm going to do the pennant banner and then the present. And that should be all of our mint macaron. Now you're gonna be doing this for two cards if you're doing a two for one. By the magic of television, I've already got no, another set of these colored. So now I've got my dark balmy blue and I'll do a present. And a pennant in my banner. And let's see here, a present and a bow. And that should be all the balmy blue. Now let's go with Calypso Coral. We'll do a bow and a pennant in the banner. We'll do a bow and a present. All that's left should be dark pale papaya. We'll do a present and a bow and a bow and a pennant in our banner. All right, there's our color. Let's get the stamp and cut and emboss machine and we'll die cut these. But before we do that, let's go ahead and glue the inside to our card. little liquid glue and glue it center. You want to do that for both your cards. It's two for one. Even if you're doing um, slightly different each time, that's okay. You can do that. All right, let's slide that to the side. We're going to cut off our greetings because we're going to, ooh, I almost used the ribbon scissors and would have to be fired. <sighs> greetings get cut off because they get fussy cut. And then we're going to cut these into a little bit more manageable pieces so that we can get as many on the stamp and cut and emboss machine as we can at one time. The presents, we only have one of each size present, so it's going to take two passes through the machine. But the nice part is we can get everything done with just those two passes by loading up the platform. So if you've got your annual catalog, you might have noticed that the Yeti stamp set does not have dies. The dies were a special offer for, as part of the Perfect Partners. I think it was Perfect Partners promotion. So um, take a look at the clearance rack and look for the Yeti dies or item number 160253. Don't miss the dies. It makes everything so easy. All right, let's line these all up and we'll get this cranked through the machine. I've got a piece of mint macaron card stock here. And that is for our scarf. I love this little scarf die. It's going to do that stripe texture and cut out the piece all at one time. Super cute. Isn't that cool? I love the embossed stripes. So that is stripes number two on my or used stripes. All right, we gotta run these through to get our other little presents cut out. But I have to say, two passes through the stamp and cut and emboss machine beats fussy cutting any day. And that's saying a lot because I like to fussy cut. Fussy cutting is my happy place. But this is really Pretty painless here. There were perfect partner dies for a bunch of the standalone stamp sets from the uh, annual and holiday catalog. So check out the clearance rack 
for those dies. It might match a stamp set that you bought not knowing that there were dies for it. So we've got our Yeti and you'll have two of each. All right, let's go ahead and assemble him. We're gonna put his scarf on with liquid glue and we'll get some Stampin' Dimensionals so we can add a little bit of level to his presence. I like to start with one right in the center of one of the big presents. We'll add that. And then from there, we'll take a couple more presents and put them on with liquid glue so that we've got levels of presents. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a really big birthday here. We're gonna assemble two Yetis, put some dimensional on the back of the last present. He's gonna drop one on his way to the party, but that's okay. He'll swoop back and get it. All right, there's our beds. Let's take care of our greeting next. All right, we're going to do a simple fussy cut, like a bubble cut for winter wishes and but holiday hugs needs to be changed to birthday hugs because our Connect Four was make a wintry birthday card and today is Desi's birthday. Did I tell you guys that? So this is going to be Desi's birthday card. And we're going to do a little Franken greeting here. So we got hugs and there's nothing that Desi likes more than birthday hugs. You should ask her. <laughs> All right, so there's hugs. So we've got Get Yeti to Party, and we're going to just cut off birthday and get rid of the rest. Now, we're going to make this say birthday hug. So what we need to do is come up around the Y, and we're going to fussy cut across the top. And then we're going to go down and around the B, and just little angle cut so now we've got birthday with a little bit of space a little bit of cardstock underneath i'm going to add a touch of glue just a little smidge and then we're going to adhere hugs underneath birthday now we've got fussy cut birthday hugs all right i've got everybody fussy cut for the greeting Let's add a little dimensional to the back. I like to make sure that my dimensional on that Franken sentiment where the happy and birthday join, I'm gonna put a little piece of that dimensional so it holds those two together in kind of a second layer. And our little M piercing gets a half of a mini. Bring our card back in here. Going to start laying out our scene. I'm gonna do that big mountain and just kind of tuck the very edge of it underneath your trim. And then the little mountain is going to go over front to give some depth and perspective to our scene. Then our Yeti all ready to party. Add a little liquid glue and pop him on. Make sure his arm doesn't go off the edge of the card. That's about where it is for placement. And leave just a little space under that horn because we're going to tuck a little heart. Here's our present. And that's going to go. See, he dropped it along his way. <laughs> Let's catch up this guy. All right, we've got our Yetis and the presents. Our greetings are all ready. We're going to get our sample back in here. Got hearts for my cards. Now these are from the now sold out celebrations tags dies. You can use whatever hearts that you might have. But in the beginning of designing this project, I had cut these hearts, I'm planning to use them and I'm still going to, I think it gives me a good opportunity to um, just remind you that the clearance list or the clearance sale was amazing. The last chance list is only while supplies last. So those sale price items with 60% discount and uh, these amazing prices are only available while supplies last. So don't delay. Um, 
place your order if there's things that you have your eye on so that you don't end up with the not non-buyer's remorse. I've been hearing from a lot of people, a lot of people that they're very disappointed that they didn't get the celebrations tags dies. And um, I'm disappointed too. They carried over the stamp set that coordinates with it, but not the dies. And the dies are now sold out. So a bunch of people are telling me that they're looking for the dies in the secondhand market. And I'm not going to part with mine because I don't um, part with all purpose tools like that. I do part with some stamps and some bundles and things, but I keep my tools like the celebrations tags dies that are you know, going to be good forever for everything. So do take a look at the, the clearance, take a look at the last chance list, grab your wish list and um, get the, the things that you had your eye on while supplies last. All right. So our hearts are down with liquid glue, our birthday hugs. <laughs> Isn't that cool? We just made that greeting and it looks so seamless and, um, and winter wishes. I'm going to add those with a little bit of stamp and dimensionals. And our last step is to embellish and because we've got our forest animal, I know he's a Yeti. I was thinking um, Bigfoot when I made this. Crafty girls do what they want. Make a wintry birthday card. Check. Use stripes. We got that in two places. Sweet sorbet. That's our next step. So we're going to grab these fine sparkle adhesive gems and use the sweet sorbet gems to add a little sparkle. Got my take your pick tool. At, who am I kidding? A little sparkle. I'm going to do a lot of sparkle. I'm going to put five of these on each of the cards. This is Desi's birthday card, so it's going to have a little extra sparkle. And there it is. There is our winter wishes and birthday hugs. Wintery birthday card with a Yeti to party. Uh, and Yeti dies. If you've got any questions about the project, the last chance list, the clearance to shop Stampin' Up! 24-7, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. And if you're finding that the Yetis float in your boat, and especially at $7.20, don't forget to check out the Kitchen Table Stamper store where you can get the Yeti to party stamp a stack card class while supplies last. There's just a few of these packets left. It makes 10 cards. So you can grab your $11.20 dies, your $7.20 stamp set, pick up the class packet and hit the ground running with 10 cards right out the door. Here's two of the designs that it makes. There's also a birthday card, but I sent all the other birthday cards. Holiday hugs and winter wishes. And is it Christmas Yeti? Change out your um, accessories and your greetings and you can make any kind of occasion card with the packets. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.